Um, way, what's up, beautiful people? This is your girl Nadia Mokami, aka the African pop star, aka the queen of pop, aka Canadian Katambe. Oh my god, I'm gonna spend this entire episode talking about my aka's, but nah, today we're not about the music, and I'm here to bring you good, good news. Oh my god, we finally have a podcast. Tuko na podcast yetu mtasisitiza. Tuko na podcast ya financial discipline journey. Pia kelele kwa Nadia. You know, oh my god, I'm so excited because we have been preaching this for the last one year. We're going to get a platform in which we can be sharing our our you know, our knowledge, our master classes and finally tuko hapa we are talking about money. Guys, we are talking about money. So most of you on social media have been asking what financial discipline journey is about. So, um when I was studying music, I sat with myself and told myself that you know, I, I wanted to give back to the society with the little knowledge that I have since I have a background in finance. I'm a finance graduate, class of 2018, Maseno University. All my Maseno people, let me see you in the comment section, you know. So I'm a finance graduate and I really wanted to incorporate that in my music career. And I said, why not? I'm going to start something that talks about the importance of savings or just helping the young people save. So financial discipline is is a movement that aims at cultivating the savings culture among us, the youth. So you know what we're about? There's financial, there's discipline in this journey. So there is the discipline bit in which you have to really conform to that, to the to the norms and the habits of, of the savings culture. So that is the discipline bit. This is the journey. This means that you cannot wake up and become financial financially independent, you know, in a day. It takes a journey. And this journey in a kuwa backed up na nini, in a discipline. So that's why we call it financial discipline journey. So you see, I, I really thought about this whole thing name. So <clears throat> y'all give me my, my credits and my stuff. It makes sense. <laughs> you know? Oh Lord, I'm really excited because it's episode one, you know. So today I'm just about introducing this to you guys. Kwa sababu wengi wenu meniuliza financial discipline inahusu nini? Na mefanya nini? So, I remember when we were starting out, the first, no, the first two months, I was in South Africa for for some MTV award, and for some MTV recording. Then someone called me from Zuri Awards that, yeah, you've been nominated. And we're just two months into doing our baby, which is financial discipline. We got a nomination at the Zuri Awards, which is a big women award right here in Kenya. And I was really, really humbled that you guys are recognizing the little efforts that we're doing. In the same one year, I have partnered with brands like Safaricom as a Blaze Mentor 2020. And it was amazing. I got to talk to you guys about financial discipline. So, Meona, it... It has really spread, like the word has really, really spread out there that we are doing this. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. And I want to say a special thank you to each and everyone who's been saving with us. Kama umekua part and parcel of this journey. Nataka ushikilia mkono, iyeke kwa kifua, useme mimi ni soldier. Kwa sababu kushikilia savings kila Monday na sisi. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Because most of the people who are tunasema, ah, sina pesa ya kutosha, ama pesa na make ni kidogo. But umejaribu umekuwa disciplined for the past one year. Kwanza, we have our online chama. Tukona online chama yetu where we save each and every Monday. Every Monday we save, guys. And we have very loyal members. I remember when we were starting out, <laughs> we had 20 members. 20 members. Tulikuwa tuna struggle, tuna beg watu. <laughs> Kiss him, save. Squeezy, Adi, we have rules and regulations of why you can join and why you cannot join our online chama so maybe to just give you a clear roadmap of how financial discipline really really works so number one you must have a locked savings account lazima ukuna a locked savings account with any financial institution of your, of your choice there's one misconception about financial discipline and the savings bit of the online chama that people get you do not send any money to anyone as I said on the first point, is you must have your own locked savings account. So then, after you have your own locked savings account, we have a chairman, Anitra Dennis Collins. Details are on our social media pages at Financial Discipline Journey by Nadia Mokami. Yes, ziko hapo. Contact yake ko hapo. Unam, unam tumia request via WhatsApp that you want to join the, the online chama. Lazima ascertain kwamba you have a locked savings account. Then after that, after 
you have passed that you join the online chama every monday you have to save you have to send a screenshot so how you do this is you save kwa your own um your own locked savings account then you take a screenshot you blur the details like the balances uh the amount you've saved and stuff like that you blur those things then you send that screenshot and tell us oh guys i've saved already on my own locked savings account every monday the reason why we put it every monday is because of the of the discipline aspect the discipline bit is killer monday conforming to norms that's how we're doing it so after you've sent your screenshot each monday you make it a habit so habits form discipline so every monday una tuma screenshot yako having blood those very critical critical um details come your reference numbers your de- bank details these are vitu zenye unajua ni critical that you don't want them going to the public you blur them then every month if you do not save for three consecutive mondays you're out because we need discipline members all right so after the, the, the like three consecutive mondays we just save oh you having no no guys you out we have a very strict chairman shout out to Dennis Collins who makes sure that then we update you on a list of people who are who have been con, con, you know consistent for now we don't have rewards <laughs> but maybe in the future we're going to be rewarding people on who has really been been consistent with this all right so that's how you part of our online chat about the financial discipline then on through kwa group uh, and uh, as part of movement we give each other motivation you know we talk to each other we share important important messages on the importance of savings money and stuff like that financial literacy the books you should read we always provide them to each and every one of our members so what happens is we have created um a challenge every every year we have six months six months so the first six months which is 24 weeks we create a challenge of savings for the 24 weeks Every, each and every monday then after the six weeks we take like a two weeks break then we start another six weeks challenge all right no not six weeks six months challenge after that then that is the norm now we are joining our third season we have been doing it for a year and it has been successful we've had testimonials from people on our social media pages on why savings is really important guys you're doing this for you it's not for Nadia Mukami it's not for financial discipline so for our chairman it's for you ni yako itakusaidia wewe i believe we can all become millionaires we can if we first achieve the financial literacy and one of the things that me mimi huwa napenda ku preach any time before you get into our movement into our challenge one thing you need to do is have a goal that is the first thing like why are you saving with us because you cannot save because everyone else is saving do you understand like you have to save because you have a goal i want maybe to go back to school maybe i have a small business and i want to like scale it i want it to be bigger um you you're an artist you maybe want to shoot a better music video um what is the other thing there's so many reasons as to why you can have a goal in as you want to to help your parents you want to buy a gari ya biashara ya taxi or unataka kujenga so many so many reasons you must have a goal when you're getting to be part and parcel of a financial discipline journey you must have a goal that's the one thing you cannot save without a goal so that at least there is motivation and together when you you become part of our online chama we also keep motivating you so you really really must have a goal all right that is the one thing that i like to tell people Oh my lord I'm preaching and uh, ingekuwa mko hapa ningekuwa nimepitisha sadaka you guys metoa sadaka because I'm spitting fire <laughs> I go beating my own chest so one of the things that we get to talk about that I my personal favorite of why you really really need to save is emergency funds emergency funds I like to preach about insurance I like to preach about having pesas are just just in case but i think we will get into details about emergency fund on another episode but maybe to just kupitia juni emergency funds are really 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 important just in case an occurrence an unwanted occurrence has happened you can be able to rescue yourself from that for instance the covid-19 situation who saw that in 2020 there was going to be covid-19 no one knew and we had just started saving and the little savings that we had is what some some people survived on so we need to start saving for unwanted occurrences like 
COVID-19. So many people got nitawa nini ku bench. Bench mark you. Kuri trench you are that the word I was looking for. English is not my first language. But anyway, um so many people got retrenched and um they lost their jobs and maybe nile abrupt who judge panga you don't even have no side hustle and the little savings that you've been putting on the side is like oh hita nishikilia by the time na bazungusha kili yangu knowing what i'm going to do next so we need to save for unwanted occurrences emergency funds i think that is going to be a discussion in its own we're going to have so many amazing people on this podcast we're going to host my lord i'm crying because it's emotional we're going to have amazing people on this on this podcast on so many other episodes we're going to have um one of, uh, of the members of the online chama for the next episode we're going to have financial coaches we're going to have like my friends just challenging each other about money on this it's interesting guys this is the number one podcast right now this is the podcast you should be listening to by Nadia Mukami Financial Discipline Journey by Nadia Mukami Oh my god number one podcast we're going to make it as interesting as educative as I'm looking for vocabulary it's it's missing my word but you you get you get the gist spread the word that Nadia Mukami has a new financial discipline journey podcast it's not new but we've landed that's the word we've landed guys we we here we here we've landed so make sure you check out um the amazing stuff that we have been doing and god bless your soul thank you for being part of an ancient discipline journey i can't wait to be part of this journey with you for all the new members feel welcome karibu sana to the old ones thank you for holding it down financial discipline is the most amazing movement that kenya has ever seen i'm beating my chest again but forgive me i got to take one for the team i got to <laughs> i got to represent my people i love you guys na naongea mingi i'm out i like to mic drop or stuff should i drop.